Greetings and welcome to a video tour of the Math 154 course site. Uh, if you're new to LuminOM, all LuminOM courses have uh, some options at the top and on the left. Uh, messages allows you to send and receive private messages between other people in the class. Uh, this is actually the best way to get in touch with the instructor. Uh, feel free to send a message to Matthew Watts on there. Uh, forums is direct access to all the discussion forum or discussion board based assignments. The links are in the main folder, which is the way you should go, but if you just know you need to get to a certain forum and don't remember which unit folder it is, then that's a good place to go. Um, it's also a way to check uh, the basic Q&A forums where people have questions about stuff, and so you can answer those. Uh, the calendar lets you view all the due dates for upcoming assignments, and the gradebook lets you see your up-to-the-minute grades and average. I will have an announcement here uh, that will give you some current information about upcoming assignments and what we're working on. Um, and then we have the main folders. So uh, we see each of these folders uh, will be content-based and we'll start at the top and work our way to the bottom. It does only go to Unit 5 now, but it will go to Unit uh, 12 by the end of the semester. So we, uh, at this point in fall 2018, this course is running for the second time. And so we're still making some tweaks to the course design. Um, so we'll get those units out uh, well in time for you to complete them. Um, all right, so first thing you want to do then is to go into the Start Here Orientation folder and just click on that. It should take you in there. And, and you see these number line things as a link that should bring up a document such as the uh, syllabus uh, or enter you into an assignment or a forum, such as the questions about course. Now, if you're ever inside an assignment or a forum or something like that, you can use the back button on your browser to get back, but you can also click up here on Math 154 to get back to where you are. Right? It lets you bring up one level. Uh, if you want to go back to the main page, again, just hit it again. So it's a way of getting out of the different folders that you're in. Uh, so read through this, all this stuff top to bottom. Make sure you check all the links. And uh, let me know if anything seems amiss. Complete the orientation assignments, there's an autobiography, a syllabus quiz, and entering answers. Then in your week-to-week -week routine, you just go into whatever unit we're working on. So we'll be working on unit one first. And again, uh, read and, and go through everything top to bottom. So uh, typically be a message at the top, followed by resources and then assignments. So here's some resources, and then here's an assignment. So again, you notice if it's not underlined, that's not a link. If it is underlined, that is a link. Um, so then that leads to your first main assignment is the uh, lab for Unit 1. So uh, we mentioned before about the forums. Um, you have to do your first forum assignment with the autobiographies. And uh, this is the way the forum looks. So you can click on other posts from other students and you can give a thumbs up feedback or you can hit reply and just start a discussion. Uh, you can also add your own thread by hitting add new thread. Then you have all the uh, word processing capabilities you'd want uh, for creating a document right here in the text box. Um, typically the assignment instructions are also posted right above that for your for your own uh, convenience. Um, you can insert uh, videos, links, attachments. Uh, you can create math symbols and graphs. Uh, and then of course all the usual font adjustments. And then just hit post thread when you are done typing. For automatically graded assignments like the homework, it'll be in the format of the entering answers assignment. So uh, typically each problem is worth the same amount of points, usually one point. Um, you can see your grade on each problem and your grade for the assignment. As you submit these, the grade will change and it will automatically save. Uh, most homework assignments allow you to attempt them in limited times. Uh, if you were to get a problem wrong, then you'll get that negative feedback. Um, you see that you have a certain number of attempts attempt two or three, um, and if you get it wrong three times, 
you see that you can no longer submit the answer, but the answers are actually given at that point. So then you can determine what you did wrong. Uh, if you're still having trouble, you can post the question to the forum by clicking that link, and it'll take your problem with your numbers and put it in the forum. Make sure that you include specific questions that show your work or show the answers that you were given um, so that you can get proper help with that problem. And you can even post those anonymously. Uh, but we're not stuck here with zero credit for this problem. We can hit try another similar question, get a brand new problem, and get credit to move on. So you're expected to get full credit on all the homework assignments using that technique. Um, the uh, last type of assignment will involve uploading stuff. And I think that happens with the lab. So you get this kind of thing. Um, so uh, you'll be creating a spreadsheet usually in Excel, uh, and then you just hit uh, choose file, and then it should pull up some kind of thing, and you can select a spreadsheet from your computer, where it's stored, and then hit open, and it should attach it. And then you can hit submit to submit it. So, uh, if you end up having any questions about any of this works, you can always post in one of the question answer forums. Um, if it's for a specific unit, then find the question answer forum for that unit. Uh, if it's just general about the course, then there's a question answer forum for the course. Um, after you submit assignments, they'll be graded on the following Monday, or sorry, on the following Tuesday, because they're due Monday night. Um, and then you can check your gradebook for grades and feedback. So uh, remember with the automatically graded assignments like these, you'll be seeing it grade as you go along. Uh, but with something like the file upload where we upload a spreadsheet, it's going to initially just put a zero in there uh, until I get to go in and manually grade those assignments. So that will be sort of zero right away. It'll make your grade dip a little bit on Tuesday morning, um, but then hopefully by Wednesday we have you straightened out. Uh, check the grade book. Uh, if you see low grades or zeros that have no feedback, then it means I probably haven't graded it. Just give me a gentle reminder or a message to grade those. Uh, all right, I think that about covers it. You should be all set to go through the course. If you have any problems, just let me know.